take place in talk. Yes. Everything you say is confidential and anonymous. Have you called that line before? I, yes, yes, definitely, yes. When is the last time you called? About a minute ago. Two minutes okay. ago. Yes. The the the, the um, person I spoke with is a bully, a controlling bully who hung up on me. She didn't like my tone, and I'm the victim of abuse. I've been reaching out for 22 months. I'm going without medical care, without prescription medication. I'm one day away from living on the street, and this arrogant bully hung up on me because she didn't think I had the proper tone to address her. And I, I can't think of an uglier situation than you're supposed to be the hotline, oh. the, 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 a resource hey, for ma'am. victims of abuse, and you're being abusive. I need help. I need okay, help. Ma'am. Okay, you're talking to a different individual now. So what I'm going to do is just ask you a couple of questions and you can tell me what's been going on, okay? Yes. Okay. So... What city and state are you in? I'm not going to tell you that right now. I have had, okay. I've had, well, a, a, I'm safe. Right. I'll say this, yeah, I'm safe. Okay, I'm looking ma'am. for resources in North Carolina. I'll tell you that. I'm looking for resources in North Carolina. Okay, okay ma'am. I'm safe. I've had, I've had people ma'am. disclose to my abuser who threatened to kill me. They've disclosed where I am. So until I have more faith Everything in... Everything you say here is confidential and I know, but I've had, I've had this happen. You're not listening. I'm just, if you give me a chance to talk, then I can, you know, try to help you. Okay, and if you give me a chance to talk and explain, I probably, okay, okay, so please, just listen for a minute. I, uh, this has gone on, this has gone on for 22 months. My abuser has threatened to destroy my life, drive me into poverty, that he's at war with me, and that he's threatened to kill me. He's acted on those threats for the last 22 months. He has a great deal of resources, and he's very convincing. He's a military officer, and he's a medical doctor. And he has taken everything from me, literally everything, including... Stop. What is that noise on your end? You're not listening. I stopped talking. I don't, I don't know what, what the noise We get all kind of noises here. It's, it's a phone line. You never know what's going on. In, in August, you. okay, in yeah. August, I'll continue. In August, when I was actually in the hospital receiving a diagnosis for cancer, he took the vehicle I was driving. It was at a repair shop being repaired a couple states away right. from where he lived. He took that, so he's taken all three vehicles in our marriage. He has an income of over half a million dollars a year. He has left me with, I am $98 overdrawn in the bank. I'm one day away from living on the street. I have no car. He's 14 years younger than I am. I am 62. I'm disabled. I'm a victim of abuse of a vulnerable adult in addition to everything else. Not one agency has protected me. What I need help for is to reclaim my financial security, my property, and my rights. I have a terminal medical condition that is the result of years of brain injuries and concussions that he caused. And I need a safe place to live. I need a percentage of what a wife would be entitled to being married for, we were together 20 years, married for 16 years. I'm entitled to something And what he's done is create a disability, a horrific disability, and then exploit that disability to financially abuse me on top of emotionally and physically abusing me. Those acts are illegal under North Carolina General Statute 108 at 101. It's against against the law. The state of North Carolina failed to protect me. What will you do to protect my rights? And I think it's going to it's gonna get okay, down to ma'am. needing legal counsel, experienced legal counsel. So what do you offer? Okay. We don't provide legal counsel. What we can do is get you in contact with legal aid. I mean, we're not legal counsel here. 
Legal aid well, doesn't address this. You know that, I know that. Legal aid does okay. not address I'm, this. I'm so what do victims do? I'm asking for help though. I'm, if, if somebody comes to you and says, I need help with a roller skate, and you say, well, here's a banana, then the person is going to say, well, that's great. It's a lovely banana, but it doesn't, well, it doesn't address my problem. What? what? Excuse me, could you repeat what you just said? What we do here is crisis intervention and safety plan. It's, you know, you Which organization be, helps me in my circumstance? In this country? Ma'am, you're, you're, uh, you know what, ma'am? I'm, I'm going to try to help you as much as I can, but you're... I'm asking a simple question. You now have an understanding of what I'm going through, and so... Your situation is, is not simple, okay? I, I'm aware of that. I'm living it. I'm aware of it. What do you offer for help? We're not lawyers here. What? I'm asking you a simple question. What do you offer for help? What do you offer for help? All right. Um, it's up to you. This is all up to you. I can only do so much from here. This is a hotline. This is not, you know, we're not lawyers here. We're not even counselors or therapists. Can, do you understand something, or just a fundamental you, do thing? Do you understand who you're calling? Do you understand? Yeah, yes, yes. Do, but can I let... calling the attorney general's office or something, you know? They don't help. The attorney like general's that. office, I've called Loretta Lynch. She's the attorney general of the United States. They don't help. But can I, it seems like every time I start to talk, you start to talk. So what I'm saying is this. You are yeah, the... You the don't give me a chance to talk. Okay, so can I say you something? Can to talk, and then you start talking. Okay, can I just make a point here? Because I, as a victim, and that with 22 months... We, here, we, we connect you with a shelter. If you want to go to a shelter, we can do Can that. I just can make I a comment? You know, right, can I make a comment here? Yes, will that's you... That's what we do. Okay, will you listen? Okay, please just listen you for a minute. You want me to listen or you want me to talk? I want you to listen. I want okay, you to I listen. You I, I want you like to listen. Can you please listen? I'd like you to listen for a minute. Just for a minute. No, your I'm 800 number, you. your 800 number is the number that all, whether it's, it's rain. Yes, I'm very aware of that. I haven't I'm finished my aware. sentence. I haven't finished the sentence. All agencies in this country refer me to you. You may not know that. I understand what you're I saying. Know, I know that. I'm very aware of that. Can we wait then? Can I just say this? That's I understand that you're limited in what you can do. I understand the limitations. Can I just finish? Can I finish a sentence? Can I finish a sentence? I'm not here to put you in contact with a, a lawyer unless you want to go to legal aid now. They don't you know, offer the help you're suggesting. They, uh, they don't. They don't offer the help you're suggesting they offer, and I think you know it. They don't offer that help. Can I just make a point here? Please, just fin uh, can I finish a sentence? Why not? I haven't finished the sentence. I haven't finished the sentence. I'm actually recording this, and I'm going to put this on YouTube. I'm putting this on YouTube, your response, because this is ugly. Uh, but my sentence is this. You're the 800 number clearinghouse for all agencies in this country. Okay, so she has hung up, but here's the point that she would not let me say. Every agency in this country, all of those websites direct me to this 800 number. All of them. And not only do they not offer the kind of help that I need, they don't care. They don't even let you say, hey, you're the clearinghouse. You're the 800 number. You know you don't offer this kind of help. Why isn't this getting back to all of these organizations that there needs to be this kind of help? See, she's going to keep saying, go to legal aid, go to legal aid. Legal aid, and I've done this, they don't offer this kind of help either. What victims of abuse need is a way to reclaim their financial security, a way to reclaim their property, a way to reclaim their life see we get victimized by our abuser and the only help offered is to go live in poverty that's horrific this is 2016 
It's absolutely horrific in this country that these agencies don't offer any help to get your life back. You're placing the community back, your financial security back. All they offer is be a victim, hide, and let your abuser take everything from you. And I think these agencies are every bit as abusive as an abuser is. We need to start saying in this country, we can use the laws of this country to protect your financial security, to protect your place in the community. See, the victim isn't the one at fault. It's the abuser. And the abuser wins all the way around. They get to abuse you. They get to take your financial security. They get to take everything. And these agencies that people think are helpful are not. Not at all. They're abusive.